I feel like Kerm the Kermit meme. Do it. <laughs> Why is it so cold now? <laughs> this morning it is, it's Monday morning, July 5th. And it is so cold here. Oh my gosh, it is freezing. And I say that I, like as if it's like 40 degrees or something. No, it's like 60, I think, or something. Oh, it's 58. Oh, it's cold. Anyways, hello, happy post 4th of July. I absolutely did nothing yesterday. I just sat outside and just was being a mom. I'm not one for fireworks and stuff because my father was a medic in the Air Force. And he instilled in me as a little kid every year when I go into work. There's a kid with a hand blown in half, blown off, or missing fingers. So I don't mess with that stuff. The stuff freaks me out. I like watching professional people do it, but not, oh, Earl, the, your drunk neighbor, shooting off mortars. No, that it kind of freaks me out. Anyways, so I didn't do anything. I just stayed home with the baby and, or with my son and... My husband actually went to his friend's house. Uh, it was his old coworker, so he went and did that. So I had, like, once my son went to sleep, I had the night to myself to just, like, read and relax and do nothing, which was amazing. My son didn't nap yesterday, so he would not have been fun to bring around people that he's not even familiar with. He's already weird about that type of stuff. Oh, my hair. So, yeah, we don't do that. Anyways um that's my life update i'm not coughing anymore i feel pretty much 100 percent. so yay um i'm looking at my goodreads i don't think i finished anything this oh no i did i did one second so this past week it was uh the author laurel hightower's birthday so i decided to start reading her book crossroads and i finished it um, I was, I don't remember if I mentioned this in anything, but I was super apprehensive to read it because I knew it was about a mother and her grieving over the death of her son and doing anything she needed to do for him. I was thinking for some reason it was a little kid or a baby and I can't handle it. <laughs> so I was emotionally preparing myself, even though I wanted to read it, heard great things about it, but her son is he like passes away in his early 20s so I was able to like I still empathize and sympathized with the character but I wasn't completely traumatized if that makes sense and it is sad it is um it can be seen as depressing and stuff but I thought it was really good and um I gave it five stars I loved it I watched her live um she was on Nikki's interview live stream whatever on YouTube and it was really interesting to watch and hear her thoughts about the book and um, her whole process with it and just her process in writing in general I'll put the link to the interview down below it was it was really good and watching the vid watching the live I just want to be her best friend she just seems like such a chill person and someone I would love like she would be my friend she would be my best friend if I knew her in real life. It's just, I, you just get the vibe from someone, you know? So, yeah, I will put that link down below. It was a really good interview. Um, and it also had Jay Maddox part of it. Um, anyway, so, yeah, this book was really good. I think I still have to post my review on this one because I want to do a special photo for it. And yeah, all the other books I'm still reading. I haven't finished anything of those, of course, because what do I do? I start and finish other books and not the ones that I'm currently reading. Um, I actually am kind of buddy reading. He's already finished it, of course, because I'm... I don't know how he reads so freaking fast. He's like finished like four books, I feel in the time that I've started this one. But Sabbath of the Fox Devils by Sam Richard. Um, this is a like, satanic panic 80s type of book. It's 
definitely slower than I was expecting and um, it's a quiet horror like you're really in this little boy's head I believe he's 11 or 12 or something like that but you're in his mind the whole time of just this a little bit of an obsession and stuff like that and it's it's good writing and I'm curious to see how it's gonna go oh he's 12 I'm curious to see where it's gonna go in the story I'm like halfway I would like to finish it today and yeah so far so good and the the very beginning the dedication ripped my heart out why don't you oh my gosh I got so like I don't know why it choked me up so much but it choked me up and uh, gave me my feels so yeah Sabbath of the Fox Devil by Sam Richards and this is a weird punk books so those are those two and then I started because I was on my phone a lot yesterday and I almost read it throughout the day but being a mom I got super busy yeah I'm almost I'm like at 33 percent I'll probably finish this today as well but it is Scott J. Moses' uh, new short, a short, sharp shocks book, non practicing cultists. Yeah, this came out recently, and so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. I wasn't sure what to expect, and it weird. I don't know if it's because it has like Vietnam vets in it or whatever, but it just kind of gives me, I'm getting the whole severed vibe by Joshua Marcello. So I don't, I don't know why. I think it's just the Vietnam thing. But yeah, it's about a cult. And that's all I'm going to say. Because it's so, it's just like 39 pages. I don't want to spoil anything. Because right now you, I kind of get just of what's probably going to happen or the goal. But I don't know how it's going to go down. So that's exciting. But that's my really short update. Um, I hope you guys have fun this week. Hope you're staying safe. Um, tomorrow I have a wedding to go to, so I'm probably not going to get a lot of reading done and I'm going to be super busy. So hopefully for the rest of the week, I'll be able to read more. My husband took this whole week off, so hopefully I will not have to do so much baby duty so I can read and do what I want, more of what I want. And post some reviews because I'm like I feel so behind on posting my reviews on on Instagram because I want to do a special picture post for a book that I already finished a while ago but I just haven't had the time to like set up and try to work through my ideas of what I want to do because I have my idea but I gotta work through it and yeah I think that's it and yesterday, because everyone, it was a holiday, everyone had their books for sale. So I ended up buying freaking 11 books. So that's fun. I can't wait to show you that whenever I get it. Yep. Anyways, I'll see you next week. I'm sure I'm going to have... I'm going to start like five other books and finish them and not finish the ones I've been reading for the last month. I'm awful. I'm awful this, this summer. <laughs> all right. That's all. I'll catch you on the flippity flip.